Well, decking the halls is not just for Christmas these days. Some people start with Halloween. They get creepy and creative with their houses. I'm always so impressed. Yeah. Jack-o'-lanterns, ghouls, glowing lights, all the things, spooky noises too. Some homes are just really fun and colorful and, of course, very witty. So you may even have a favorite spot where you like to see this and trick-or-treat. Well, there are neighborhoods all over the Bay Area they've been transforming uh, for the haunted holiday. So home decorator Stephen Foster is going all out, putting on this spectacular display at his child childhood home every single year. And Steve, hi, good morning from Redwood City. So this is so impressive. Morning. Have you always been a, just a big fan of Halloween? Uh, yeah, so basically it kind of started with Christmas and I've always been into the holidays in general um, and I've had a lot of creative freedom from my parents growing up. Um, and then I was really inspired by Disneyland and Disney and rides, things like that. So uh, Halloween kind of came thereafter, and I just kept adding and adding, and then it became its own animal, just like Christmas, and that's where we are today. <laughs> All right, so tell the truth. Do you go for the day after Halloween sales? I go to Home Depot, and that's when I buy all my Halloween stuff, and then I store it, and then, then I have the question of how do you store these things? Yeah, exactly. I get that question every day. Um, <laughs> I do you know, stock a lot of sales for Christmas and Halloween. Yep. It's kind of an addiction. Um, but yeah, I store it actually all in the attic. Um, I've been really blessed with a lot of storage space. So <laughs> the time that I run out of storage space is the time that I stop adding, I think, or replacing. Or build a second level. <laughs> right, or, yeah, or build <laughs> yeah. some more space to put it all in. You know, it really looks fun exactly. and impressive. How long, like, what's the process? When do you start decorating for Halloween? Is this a, a couple of weeks out, a month out? And then you also said you do yeah. this for Christmas too? Yeah, Christmas is actually a lot bigger. I kind of cover almost every inch of the house in lights, a uh, big light show in the patio. Um, last year, we had tons and tons of visitors coming through, and a lot of people just tell me how much it means to them. And I feel like my home is actually smaller and a modest display, but uh, a lot of people think otherwise, and I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Halloween, I kind of started in throughout August, uh, just building and adding some new things, new elements. A lot of things people don't see, a lot of details. And um, then I pretty much put it all up in about one or two days with a lot of friends and family, a lot of help. <laughs> and that's uh, where nowadays it's fun. Because it just keeps getting bigger. You know, in the yeah. old days, we did barn raising as communities. And now in your community, you're raising the spooks on Halloween. Thank you so much, yeah. Stephen Foster. We appreciate it. Keep doing it. You're bringing people together who love to come out and see it. And please send us a picture when you get your Christmas displays yeah. up as well, we can re this oh, yeah. up for Christmas. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, of course. Thank you so much.